Greetings. Guten Tag. Tala Falava. Bonjour, bonjour. This is Dr. Snow Brown. Brackets, Elder Eli Eileen Trevoranus. Um, connecting with you all, especially the Snow Gang Club flock. Right. Uh, very good morning to you all. And good evening to all, uh, all of you as well. That are around the globe. As well as here in New Zealand. <coughs> now, um, today being the last day of our rules of applications, that's correct. This is the last day, being the 16th of December 2023. And it is, it, it has been very uh, challenging to go through, you know, applying the rules. But um, yeah, drinking water throughout mainly. So I drunk water. Pray the prayers, the relevant prayers that I mentioned to you. There are a few other prayers which are totally irrelevant. I mean, I don't need to mention you those other prayers that I pray. Because I pray that as a natural pastor, as the head of a snow king, of a flock, one of Jesus' flock, in the form of a baby brown monarch in a private company, it is my duty. It is also my utmost um, a service to make sure that I pray on behalf of the snow king club flock especially during the night of the rules of applications so today i'm about to head out but before i head out i want to mention to the snow sheep snow shepherds um, and especially all the i want to take the opportunity also to say thank you a big thank you and a big shout out to all the pastor shepherds especially the ones whose church services and uh, sermons i and teachings preachings I post inside my special meek number two CKC TV YouTube channel or Crystal Kingdom Church TV Limited independent state and also an independent meek monarch well the first of its kind actually so apparently so in conclusion today this morning I am actually officially a member of a crown, a member of an independent crown. That's correct. That's not recognised by the government of New Zealand. That is not even accepted by the government of New Zealand by the looks of things. Because they have not made any donations towards my intellectual property. And my so-called meek, you know, that's correct, kingdom ministry. Nevertheless, uh, you know, I exist. I run privately, that's correct. I am not a public property because if I was a public property, um, I would receive donations of some sort. I would receive payment for my services. That's great. So what I do here, this is for me. This is my own private company, private monarch. That's great. That I'm fully responsible for, by the way. So I'm the co-founder. I'm the producer. I'm the director. I am also the the person who is running it in the background. That's correct. I do all the preachings, my own preachings, as you can see with all the list of videos. That's correct. I I'm also a head of a, a meek, a brand new meek church, in the form of an interactive church TV on a social media platform, as in YouTube channel, and of course formerly started off from a facebook channel so why uh so what am i going to preach about today before i you know pop out well it has been brought to my attention in fact your Majesty green snow brown and even my holy ghost family the governing body that governs my intellectual property privately is called the holy ghost family that includes myself. I'm the representative of the sovereign head, who's the sovereign head is Queen Snow Brown, of our independent state and independent monarch, first of its kind. So, the governing body, or well, let's say the crown, or the government of my so called intellectual property, is not only Queen Snow Brown, who's the head, the sovereign head, then comes down to me, the authority then is delegated down to me as being 
the representative or the natural pastor and then I've got the the helpers which is the guardian angel the archangel and my six Holy Ghost children that make up the governing body that governs the governs over inside my kingdom and even outside my kingdom publicly so wherever I walk out there when I'm walking outside there in the government in the public arena public eye out there I'm not just some fool I am actually a registered legally registered director as well but in the form of an intellectual property that is actually a private monarch and a private company that's correct private ministry so um, you know I don't talk to people out there unless they choose to speak to me but in general I should only be speaking to people that are possibly on my level as nobles or elites, that's correct, or even shepherds, clergymen, and Christians. So my level is not a criminal level. I, I do not represent the outlaw, the anarchy world, or the tyranny world that you people are, you know, more connected with, that's correct. What I do... The topics and the subject matters that I've been covering during my ministry has been run privately without any contributions or any donations from the government of New Zealand because, well, I think you all know they don't recognise my form of crownship or headship or my form of, I think they just like to take advantage of it because it has a lot of good stuff inside it, empowering stuff interesting stuff that's correct uh, and I guess you're all expecting me to to say that what let's all clap our hands for the handicap or the retards well in my crystal kingdom in my kingdom there is no such person there are no retards that's correct there are only heal whole people that have been healed wholly People that are intelligent enough to know right from wrong, wrong from right. That's correct. So the preaching I'm going to preach about this morning, briefly, before I pop out, is called A Case Against the Apartheid Treaty Partnership Regime. That, that I have been, you know, targeted by in the last 27 years. Especially in the last nine years inside this address that is gang infested. That's correct. You all know that. The locals know the situation of this address. They know the people that live inside it. They know what they do. Except they tolerate and they put up with their shit. Instead of, you know, hey, we don't want... Instead of banning them and saying, you know, we want to disband your organization. We want to dis dissolve your organization. And also, we want to shut down the very people that are running you and, and, and aiding and abetting and procuring your so-called bad out, bad consequences, bad outcomes for everybody in the system, especially for meek, you know, newcomers like me, new clergymen, new directors, new crowns. That's great. Members of the crown. This is a brand new crown that's been born in your country, right in your backyard. Yeah, out there in New Zealand. But of course, you chose to be ignorant because the people of Aotearoa were so selfish, big-headed and greedy and said, you know what, the government only needs to listen to our needs, cater to cater our needs and, and do what we tell them to do because we're in partnership. Because we our, our former ancestors, former so-called, you know, Rangatira Tangas or chiefs had signed an agreement with the crown, the sovereign head of England. So our so-called needs, our rights under the treaty document and under the common law should be upheld and only be the ones that should be given first preference. That's how it is. That's how it's been in the last 27 years. Hmm. Well, I've been targeted by two most notorious criminal organizations and with the backing and the support of my rallies that are associates of the organization. And I'm talking about the local red one. That's correct. The government as well has had their backing, or has given them their blessings. The people of Aotearoa, that's correct, that are in partnership with the Crown, 
that runs this country have also given their blessings and backing in terms of lots of millions, millions and billions of money. Now, I know that the rights of those people of Aotearoa, because they signed a document, just correct, let's, let's just put it in perspective, contemporary perspective, because they signed a document, an agreement in paper, going right back on the 6th of February, 1840, the Maoris are always going to enforce their treaty rights and any other legal rights they've got in this country with the Crown, the government of New Zealand. What that means, of course, for shareholders, you know, small people like myself, that's correct, is that we could be dealt to. We could be controlled, we could be harmed, we could be tortured, uh, we could be arrested for wrongful convictions. They could also defame our good names deliberately under their treaty, apartheid treaty partnership, harmful protocols, criminal dictatorships, or even, uh, what do you call it, uh, the, the, regime, the regime itself. That's what I have discovered just now, this morning. Hmm. Oh, the prayers do help. Well, I'm a clergyman. I should know that's my job to pray some sort of prayer. It is my job to connect, to plug into to the Almighty Father, Almighty God, and the gods upstairs, so that I do their will, so that I'm doing my job. That's correct. The best way that I can, and I hope that I'm doing it righteously, and I mean the straight and narrow pathway. Hmm. Although that's very hard to do, to keep to the straight and narrow pathway when you've got a, an apartheid treaty partnership that breaks all the, the rules, breaks all the rules that I mean, breaks all the rules. It could be from left to right, right to left, front to back, back to front, either way, either way. Hmm. You could be overruled all the time. You could be dictated to. Now, of course, if you put the crown being the government, the governing body hmm, of this country in the form of three, three, the separate, three separation of powers, the three main powers that, that, that are like the, the, the so-called engine that runs this country. It's called the legislative branch, the executive branch and the judiciary branch. Now, where does the police branch come in? The, the, the police, the New Zealand police is, is supposed to be independent an independent body that is that stands alone that stands alone maybe on the side of the judiciary branch so you've got three circles every law student knows what i'm talking about when i'm talking about the separation of powers the three main powers that form the separation of powers now in every government around the globe in every other country like australia america germany they have this governing body. They have the same concept of three, three, three separation of powers. Now, of course, it might be four or five somewhere else. But what I'm saying is that the New Zealand police is independent. It's just a little circle that stands on its own. That's correct. And that body is independent for a reason. It's supposed to enforce the laws and also to protect the vulnerable, the people that are being targeted by the criminals and are being dealt to by the criminals in this country. Except when you've got a political uh, makeup or say a political governing type of body, govern governorship or rulership in the form of apartheid, treaty partnership uh, regime, you find that that independent body, the New Zealand police, ends up, that's great, instead of protecting the vulnerables and enforcing the laws against the criminals, it's the other way around. You'll find that the vulnerables are either getting arrested wrongfully for, for petty charges or minor charges, or they're being defamed by such charges, or they're being threatened and even dealt to by the police, or threatened and intimidated and even bullied by the criminals in other words and then the independent body that is supposed to do its job they decide you know what i'm not going to do anything i'm going to let it go hmm. because of the fact that we have a treaty partnership agreement 
it's because the criminals have had sex with one of our officers or the senior sergeant. So I'm sorry, you know, they're just going to have to let them go. They're just going to walk out of the station, basically. Free Scott, Scott Free, that's correct. It's because they found a way. They were able to negotiate and persuade the authorities in power. Now, that's the problem with the treaty, with the apartheid treaty partnership. There is no zero tolerance. There is a lot of loopholes and a lot of dodginess, and also there is corruption. Now, my question is, I'm going to ask you New Zealand, especially the ones that are godly and are Christians, which form of government do you want? Do you want the apartheid treaty partnership government to keep on rolling out that kind of, you know, injustice in your backyard? Or do you want to be governed by a real, real full royal and a real noble like myself in my independent kingdom or in my independent state called Crystal Kingdom Church TV Limited? Do you want to be governed by Dr. Snow Brown? Because we have a governing body. Hmm. And we also know how to enforce the laws if we want to enforce the laws. I know how to invoke the laws as well. Right, right. Problem is, when you've got the ministers who are members of the crown in New Zealand that are prejudiced, prejudiced and bigot and racist, where they will tell all the agencies and advise every police officer out there and even the independent, the, the, the police, New Zealand police that's supposed to be independent, they will tell them what to do when it comes to dealing with any individual. So, and I mean anybody in the system. So they could advise them to ignore my complaints, to act in omissions. They could also advise them to make it harder for her to access information. If they don't give her any information, she's got to go through the right channel. Uh, tell her to go through the official information, uh, you know, uh, protocol or so bureaucratic kind of protocol to get the information that you need to get the to access the information but don't just hand it to her like the way that the rest of the maoris have been getting it having sex with parkers or just asking up the parker to hand me the information and of course they just give them the information because they have a treaty partnership arrangement and a treaty partnership a governorship rulership so you'll always find that the non marries will, 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 what? will find it difficult. You will find it difficult to get in the system. That's great. Or to access information, especially if you're on the benefit and especially if you are, uh, what do you call it, on a sickness benefit. Except some beneficiaries who are on the supported living payment, who are on the sickness benefit. I tell you, like, for example, one of the local, our local, uh, so-called um, nun by the name of Sister Narina. I guarantee you right now, because she's New Zealand born, but she's never had. She would never have any problems in dealing with work and income. Does that sound about right? It's because she's a Pakia. That's correct. They accept her a Pakia. They accept her authority. They accept what she tells them. They don't investigate her and question and poke and prod her even more and more to find out, hey, you know, uh, can you get us this e extra information before we can really, before we can, you know, give you what you want? Can you get us some more information? Because that's what's been happening all the time. Every time I've rung up to apply for a food grant or some other application, it's like I'm suddenly under so much scrutiny so much, so much investigation in forms of so many questions that are unnecessary. And yet somebody like Sister Narita can just walk in there. She's on the supported living. She's been on that for a long time. She's got a mental illness, but she's got no problems when dealing with work and income. She walks in there. She gets information. She doesn't even need to wait for ages. Right, right. Is that, is, is that because it, is it because she's part of the treaty partnership? You know, regime, political, you know, governorship here? Or is it because she's she's accepted by the locals as a Pakia and is respected by the locals? She is not denigrated. She, they don't try to convert her to a slave. They don't try to lower her status as well. 
So I guess what I'm saying is that I think my form of governorship, my type of governorship and rulership under my own independent state is far better, is far better than, than the current apartheid treaty partnership regime or government that you've got running New Zealand. That's correct. You dare undermine me. That's correct. So just because I haven't sound, I, ha I have not signed an agreement of some sort or a document or a treaty document with the government of New Zealand, does not mean that, uh, that, that my intellectual property or my status as a full royal and, and even as a member of a crown, an independent crown, is not recognized and is not accepted. I don't need to sign a document like that or a treaty with the government of New Zealand to take me seriously. You guys are already using my intellectual property, whether whether you like it or not. I'm the one who runs this, this intellectual property, who owns the intellectual property. But what you've done, which you shouldn't do under under the so-called treaty document, um, any agreements between the Crown and the people of Aotearoa, nobody of the Crown, and I'm talking about anybody, any other citizens in, in this country, is supposed to duplicate or counterfeit or copy any other citizens, any Pākehā, uh, uh, what do you call it, any Māori's intellectual property in this country. Yeah, what does that mean? I guess what I'm saying is that the Māori's wouldn't dare counterfeit or make a copy or duplicate through the police intelligence unit or even through the local criminals, the criminals inside this building and their criminal connections to superiors, anybody else, any other Pakyas intellectual property without their consent and authorization and without payment. And yet when it came to me and my private intellectual property, because they, I guess I'm assuming, they're assuming because I'm on the benefit and, and that I'm on the supported living allowance, that my intellectual property can be duplicated and counterfeited and copied by the people of Aotearoa that want to be recognized, they want to be empowered on a noble's level. Yeah, remember, my intellectual property is on a noble's level. That's correct. It's not on a commoner's criminal's level. You know that. But you dare take advantage of me? Your people, when you want to file your claims, you don't ever want anybody else to make a claim against your piece of land. Is that right? So when you want to go... And fight your case against the crown. You don't ever dare go, go and take advantage or steal somebody else's piece of land or somebody else's or deny somebody else's claim against the same same piece of land. That's correct. No, you people should respect my status as a director, as well as as a natural pastor, and as well as the co-founder and the producer. That's correct. But you dare just steal and steal and take. That's correct. And you don't even want to pay not one penny anything. Just because I couldn't speak your language. When you know damn well that you couldn't speak anybody else's language. If, if they what? If you had an intellectual property that was born that way. That's correct. You wouldn't be able. You would be prejudiced. And you would be racist. And you would deny other people, that's great, their pri privileged access to your intellectual property. So when it came to my intellectual property, the government of New Zealand was obligated to protect it. Meaning there should be no counterfeit, no duplicates, nobody in, in the people of Aotearoa, not even in the people of New Zealand, counterfeiting, counterfeiting. But I bet you somewhere in down in the South Island, somebody, some asshole, some arrogant son of a bitch has copied, has duplicated my intellectual property. That's a private monarch. Unique ideas that you got to pay for. This is not created by a criminal. I ain't no criminal. That's correct. So what is going to happen when I come to the court to deal with this case? My case with a restraining order, I could actually effectively revoke the treaty document and put a stop to it. That's correct. And well, I mean, hello, you hacked into my intellectual, intellectual property. You hacked into my digital devices. 
You don't do that to other people, so-called intellectual property, that's correct. That is unique and probably would cost millions and billions. But you people, because you're in a partnership, you think you can do what you like and get away with it? Can you hear in my voice that I'm a parker? Or would you prefer me to paint my, my face white? That's great. And color my hair blonde and change the color of my eyes with contact lenses or blue. And then you might take me seriously. No, I didn't think so either. Right. You people are going to be dealt to. Can you understand now why Crystal Kingdom Church TV Limited is valuable? Because it's independent. It's an independent state. It operates by itself. It stands alone, just like the New Zealand police force. But you dare say that I desperate, that I'm not part of your so-called world. Right. I'm not part of your treaty partnership, political stance. Now, can you understand now why I will file an asylum application to leave your country? Because the government of New Zealand has failed to do its job of protecting my intellectual property. It has also failed to protect my rights under the common laws and then enforcing the laws and arresting those that have committed the crimes against me or harming me. As a member of a brand new independent crown, that's correct, you dare underestimate me. I don't need to, to that's right, to wear the so-called crown on my head, like King Charles or like his magic, King Charles III. I don't need to wear a rope to let you know people who I really am. That's correct. <clears throat> you got the audacity, all right? To undermine my intellectual property and then to steal from you by counterfeiting and duplicating it. And now they think they can just dip in whenever they want to. Yeah, but you see, when you go and attach stuff that you've got no right to attach, when you think you can dictate to somebody who's an independent person, I'm not under your document, your treaty document and your treaty partnership. I got nothing to do with it. I stand alone. That's correct. But you need it to respect my rights, my basic human rights, that's correct, under your common laws and even under your treaty partnership. But oh no, because you were so greedy, so selfish, that's correct. And you thought because your rights was more important because it was more recognized because you signed an agreement with the government of New Zealand. You suddenly thought you can get away with whatever you want to get away with in the system and even in this so-called, you know, Incredible, I know, criminal infested uh, address. I can demand anything I want when it comes to court. That's correct. Once my intellectual property was born in this country and what, and registered legally, I now have more rights. I got more rights than the people of Aotearoa. I got more rights than the treaty people, treaty partnership people. I got more rights than your, 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 your treaty document. Did you know that? I bet you didn't know that, did you? Because if you ever challenge me in court regarding my intellectual property, you would lose. And I mean, you would be screwed like how this great. And you would scream and yell at the white nigger, at the park out. Mm, that's been wiping your ass and paying you mega bucks to, to, to inflict you know, harms, dirty laundry, in the form of dirty laundry, that's great. And damaging other people's property, that's great. And going around and defaming their good names on behalf of the white niggas who wipe your ass and throw your, your, your so-called black asses and brown asses and even yellow asses in the jailbird. And yet when I rang out to try and get, yes, that's correct, the, the full name, and the physical address of the so-called Mr. Prezi, Mr. President of this local red gang organization. Oh my God. There was like excuses after, after excuses after excuses. I don't know who the fuck, it, who, yeah, who the hell he is. That's great. But the, the National Intelligence Unit, the, new, the National New Zealand Police Force was no help. 
almost every agency locally was no help. Couldn't get couldn't get that information. I guess they're thinking that that that, that he's got a right to commit crimes upon your person, to commit treason against your, your monarch and your intellectual property and even here at your address, and he can just walk around and do what and get away with it? Are you serious? Whether you like it, you know, buddy. You might have told told them the don't don't give her the information. That's great. Because he's got a right to deny me the information. You know, I guess that's the attitude with the treaty partnership. Is that you think because you are above everybody else, and you got more money than anybody else, you can deny you can deny everybody else's so-called rights. And because of that document that you can wave underneath the nose of the white man, white nigga, hmm, to remind that hey, we're in a partnership. That that what that you got a right to get whatever you want, at whatever price and whatever risk. Be careful now, because even I've got more rights than any of you. The majority of your people, especially those that are on the criminal, you know, criminal level, that have been in and out of jailbird, that are in gangs, I got more rights than any of them. And I've got more rights, more privileges, and then the president, the Mr. President, who's who's trying to, you know, to be a hard case, hard to get. That's correct. By denying the information. But at the end of the day, buddy, you know. You can try and, and, you know, delay it. But I guess it's the police officer that's probably doing also the dodging of the bullet and the denying of the so-called, you know, the information. Whether you like it or not, I will still be able to file my restraining order. And the courts will just have to release that information. That's great. To put on the, no, the order in order to serve it. That's great. So for the police station to say, oh, you know, I can't give you that information because it's a privacy act. Bullshit. The way that you've been coming inside my flat and drugging and poisoning me and subjecting me to torture and cruelties and other types of slavery, harmful, you know, savagery type, type uh, you know, psychological harm. Any type of harm? What do you call that? Is that a privacy act? Oh, I'm sorry, but, but yeah, oops. Is, is that, that, that's very, that's hypocritical. That's correct. You got the nerve. I know. To, to rape a noble like me so that you can do all this this experimenting and exploitation that you've been doing so you can stalk and yeah stalk and arrest the, the so-called meek noble and yet when I come to ask for the information that should be made available public, publicly I'm sure there is a list somewhere I mean my information my physical my full names and physical address hey it's on the electoral roll I got nothing to hide that's correct I don't need to deny somebody. If somebody's going to file an application against me, I don't need to hide my so-called, you know, full name and address and be, yeah, be hard to get kind of thing. Why? Because I know damn well, if, if they have a right to file that application, then I haven't got a case, buddy. That's correct. And a lot of victims who go to the police station to get the restraining orders, file the police, they haven't got, they've got no choice but to go and get their physical address and information in order for the victims to be protected. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I got more evidence mounting up. It's already mounted. And I've already recorded. That's great. So you got no case. I could revoke your treaty document. I could revoke also the license. That's correct. Of some of these agency organizations that have applied criminal or criminal protocols or criminal dictatorships on behalf of this criminal organization. I can even shut down this organization and the KKK. I can even have you ministers that are part of this organization, so-called conspiracy to target me and harm me, arrested as well. How do you like that? It's not hard to do. I've got more integrity. Despite I may not have your your approval, your acceptance, and, and your so-called you know respect on a level of a natural of a clergyman and even on a level of the director, you don't need to come near me. That's great. Don't you dare apply any criminal di criminal dictatorships or any dictators from the people of Aotearoa, whether it be the local Mariah people. They're not very helpful, or or the people inside this address. No, no criminal organization, you got no right to be dictating to me. 
I am an independent crown. I wear a crown invisibly. The moment my intellectual property and my kingdom was born in your country, I became a king. Naturally. But don't you dare try and steal my blessing and bestow it upon your so-called discarded old rags, people. Don't you dare. Otherwise, we'll go to war. I mean it. Don't you dare come in here and try to teach me a lesson again because there is another rubbish from the apartheid treaty partnership. Regime, regime, that's great. Now, you all take care and behave yourselves. As for the rest of you, keep your way, keep your distance, keep away. You're not a royal. You're not that privileged. You're not a reborn Christian. Keep away, keep away, don't say anything. Just walk the other way, turn your cars, when you drive your cars and you suddenly realize, oh my gosh, I'm going to go past Dr. Snow Brown. I'm going to go past somebody that is more privileged, that is actually a royal, a full royal. Uh, well, I'm not that privileged, I'm going to turn my car the other way around. That'll be excellent. You turn your car away, that's great. Because that's what commoners are supposed to do when you deal with, with a real royal, that's great. You see King Charles III? You think I'm going to go past him? I'm going to turn my way out of respect. I do that. Just like in the olden days when the nobles, when the commoners, the peasants, and I mean commoners, they don't have to be peasants, would, would what? Would put their coat down on the ground so that the royal or, or the, the noble that is heading in their direction can walk over it or can step over it. I mean, I mean, you have a nice day now. And congratulations to all those who completed their rules of application today. May you all have a nice, wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. A thousand times bulletproof seraphim angels, seraphim angels, Holy Spirit, blessings, corrections, and predictions. So you're not going to heart conditions. As for the Snow King Club, Snow Sheep, Snow Shepherds, continue to keep on the straight and narrow path. Do not walk any towards the open and destruction of the road that's open and destructive. You see the wolves? Don't waste your energy. Don't waste your blessings that come out, that, that comes from the, the Holy Spirit, and then it comes out through your mouth. Because that is the power of God. 